Barbecue is a foundation of the Southern lifestyle. Barbecue titans have formed in its wake, leading the families across the South being drawn into delicious, savory foods from different restaurants. But one joint in town cooks the familiar smoked meats, but does it in their own style. We weren't based on a particular region or somebody's grandfather's recipe that was 75 years old. We just cooked what tastes good. Aaron Siegel owns Home Team Barbecue. You've seen their restaurants across the area, downtown, West Ashley, and Sullivan's Island. But soon, Home Team will have a new home in North Mount Pleasant. We came across, up across the property a couple years ago, right before the pandemic, and um, uh, some acquaintances of mine bought the property with the intention of us putting, putting a Home Team barbecue here. For years though, North Mount Pleasant has been lacking that Southern goodness, but worry no longer. It's moving in across Highway 17 from Wando at the old location of the Rusty Rudder. North Mountain Pleasant is kind of our people. I mean, there, there are a lot of folks who come out to Sullivan's Island, a lot of folks who come downtown. So a uh, ton of families out here, a lot of residential projects, um, big high school. Um, and so, you know, it's a good market for us. We got an inside look at the new facility. As Aaron walked our crew through the new location, he says once the work is finished, it's going to look a lot like the other home teams across the area. A big outdoor space, um, lots of room for families. Folks out here are looking for a place where they can go hang out and have a good time and get some good food and bring their kids. Aaron says the big outdoor space is what's going to stand out between the new location and the other spots around the area. It's Aaron's fourth location in Charleston, meaning the home team lineup is expanding to a size Aaron never thought of. Um, we're all trying to get better at um, certain aspects of the business. You know, when you have, you go from 25 employees to over 600, um, there are a lot more things to worry about. And like every other business, COVID took its toll, causing shakeups to the home team roster. But Aaron's found younger talent. During the last couple of years, during the pandemic, because um, staff has been short, and uh, we have found a lot of success, especially on Sullivan's Island, um, with high school students from Wando and other places in town. Um, and they're really, really important to us. Uh, some of our best employees have been high school students. So in the coming months, some of us may have found a new place for a job, but all of us will have found a new option to eat and hang out, which is Aaron's favorite part, the food. And Aaron's favorite food isn't even the famous wings and white sauce. We kind of did this mismatch of, of kind of authentic Mexican cuisine and barbecue. Um, and that's really where you see that is in the taco section. And it's fun for us to pair, um, you know, toasted chili salsas and fresh salsas with barbecue and, um, and create those combinations. And I, I really dig the tacos. So, but, but my guilty pleasure is the nachos. Right now, home team is still a construction site. Aaron couldn't give us a firm date for when the restaurant will open, but he's shooting for sometime this summer. Reporting for ECSN, I'm Anthony Mullivade.